Meghan Markle attended a polo match with a dress with a chest cut out, but Royal didn't like her outfit. Meghan and Prince Harry arrived at the Grand Champions Polo Club in Wellington, Florida, ahead of the Royal Salute Polo Challenge. It's an annual event that raises money for a cause close to Harry's heart, Centerbale. The organisation, which the Duke founded in 2006 with Prince Cizio of Lesotho, works to help children in Africa affected by poverty, inequality and HIV and AIDS, according to People, which published photos of Meghan's cream-coloured dress. Meghan wore an ivory silk and hemp Heidi Merrick dress, which retails for $515, and even featured a cheeky cutout section, aquazuri heels, vintage Chanel jewellery, and a Valentino purse. She completed the look with oversized sunglasses. However, one netizen claimed that Meghan wore a cheap knockoff of the Celine Squares circa 2021. Her sunglasses might be bought on Amazon for $17. Several netizens didn't like Meghan Markle's choice of outfit. They said that she was overdressed. One commented, again, super bizarre and inappropriate outfit for a polo match. Not royal, at all. Those towering stilettos will get stuck in the grass lol. Plus, where are the kids, again? All that meaningless hand-holding makes these two middle-aged, universally despised, irrelevant forks royals and adults look like desperate teenagers. All for photo ops, super tacky cringe fest. Same old, same old. It's an ugly dress, no matter what, but as usual, she chooses to wear things that do her no favours, another wrote. A third person added, she wears the most inappropriate clothes. She meets Prince William and Catherine for the first time in torn jeans and bare feet and then goes to a polo match in gold jewellery, stilettos, and a dress that's made for a beachside nightclub. So glad that she's finally free to wear bold, bright colours again. Honestly, I'm having a hard time differentiating between working royal, unassuming cream and personal style bold cream, someone else mocked. Who attends a polo match in stilettos? My brother plays polo, and you'll never see women wearing needlepoint high heels too much. I guess she won't be divot stomping in those shoes. It'll be like wearing needlepoint stilettos to the golf course. It's not a fashion show, it's a polo match. Hashtag ban Harry and Meghan, a different user opined. It's evident that Meghan could benefit from a couture tailor. Her body doesn't conform to standard model sizes, which isn't a critique, but a reality. However, she undermines herself by consistently wearing unaltered designer clothes. The bodice of her garments requires adjustments, particularly in the waistband, to achieve the intended neckline and fit. Additionally, the dress length accentuates her legs unfavourably, appearing too long and making her look shorter rather than elegantly slender. Opting for dresses a size or two larger to accommodate her waist leads to a bunched-up neckline and gaping bodice. The pronounced peekaboo gap at the waist is a clear indication of ill fit. My advice to Megan, invest in a skilled tailor instead of wasting money on poorly fitting attire. Others pointed out that Megan's trying to copy Princess Catherine's dress at a polo match in 2023. She's so desperate to be like the Waleses, Polo seems to be a family event for William and Catherine. Every time they're at a match, it seems like Zara and Mike Tindall are there with the kids, along with Peter Phillips' children. They have a picnic and the kids just play, just a relaxing afternoon outside. Doesn't seem to be the same for the Harkles.